Chihuahuas and miniature pinchers have many things in common. They're both tiny, have similar coat colors, and have upright ears. As a result, most people often mistake these two dog breeds. But don't be fooled, these two dog breeds have a lot of distinct differences. In this video, we will tell you all you need to know about miniature pincher versus chihuahua to help you make an informed choice. Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It would really help us out. Also, make sure you stick around to the end of the video to get access to a free gift. Let's get into the history of these breeds. These two dog breeds look similar in terms of their physical appearance, but they have nothing in common when it comes to their history. For instance, Chihuahuas are Takichi descendant, a companion dog favored by the Toltec civilization in Mexico in the 9th century. They are believed to be native to Mexico and have existed for at least 1400 years before European dogs arrived. The ancestors of the Chihuahua were bred for religious purposes, but modern Chihuahuas are mostly bred for companionship. The origin of the miniature pincher is still up for debate, but historical documentation of this dog breed began about 200 years ago. Miniature pincher was developed in Germany for the sole purpose of controlling mice and vermin in homes. They were very popular in Germany during the time of the plague. Breed historians believe that the miniature pincher is a crossbreed of the Dachshund and the Italian Greyhound because they share many characteristics. How about their appearance? Miniature pincher and chihuahua look similar in terms of their appearance because they are both small dogs. However, they have many distinct differences. Miniature pinchers have a square body with an elongated head and flat forehead. Their eyes are oval while their ears are straight with a V-shape. Their coats are short and bright. Miniature pinchers are slightly larger than chihuahuas. They weigh 8 to 11 pounds and 10 to 12 inches tall, while chihuahuas weigh between 3 to 6 pounds, 6 to 9 inches tall. A fully grown miniature pincher is twice as heavy as a tiny chihuahua. They are muscular and well-defined. Chihuahua's coat comes in different color patterns. Additionally, chihuahuas are small in size. Chihuahuas are regarded as the smallest dogs in the world. Their head shape is also different from that of a miniature pincher. It resembles an apple compared to that of a miniature pincher, which is square. Some chihuahuas have long coats, while others have short coats like that of a miniature pincher. Chihuahuas are bony and fragile. How is their temperament? Both miniature pincher and chihuahua hold a great reputation for being good family dogs. However, their temperament differs a lot. If you are a first-time dog owner, then a chihuahua is a great choice for you because it is relatively easy to deal with their temperament. They are easily adaptable and require low maintenance. Both dog breeds are very intelligent, but the miniature pincher is more independent and harder to control compared to chihuahuas. They both can live in any type of home, so long as they spend quality time with their owners. Chihuahuas are ideal for the elderly, while miniature pinchers are very active, thus ideal for active families. Their small size makes both dogs suitable for families with grown kids. Chihuahuas are very alert and wary of strangers, which makes them excellent watchdogs. They are very affectionate but sensitive. They tend to bond more with one family member and are often reserved for strangers. However, if well socialized at an early age, they are very friendly and welcoming. On the other hand, the miniature pincher has a confident personality. They are fearless, alert, and often very curious. They always want to investigate anything that interests them, a trait that makes them excellent watchdogs. Miniature pinchers love attention and always entertain people to attract attention. They hate being left alone for long and can suffer from separation anxiety. Which is easier to train? When it comes to training, Miniature pinchers are quite difficult to train compared to chihuahuas. This is because they are very independent and often want to do things as they wish. 
At first, you will get frustrated when training a miniature pincher because she may not respond to your command well. So if you are planning to pet this dog breed, it is recommended that you start training the dog at an early age so that it can learn to obey your commands. To train miniature pinchers successfully, you need to show strong leadership and be consistent in your training. Chihuahuas, on the other hand, will not give a hard time when it comes to training. They are obedient and tend to respond well to commands. However, they also tend to ignore commands at times. Therefore, you need to be consistent and firm in your training. Diet Both Chihuahuas and miniature pinchers need a proper diet to stay strong and healthy. When buying store food for them, check the ingredients used to see if they are healthy nutritious, and well-balanced. Nutrients in their food should be proportional to their weight and size. Both miniature pincher and chihuahua don't do well when given foods that contains weird flavors and textures because they can easily hurt their stomach. These two dog breeds need to be given simple, balanced, and nutritious food that meets their needs. The most recommended foods for miniature pincher and chihuahua are cooked vegetables and boiled chickens. These two dog breeds don't thrive on kibble. It may lower their energy level because it does not contain enough nutrients that their body needs. Besides providing them with a well-balanced diet, also ensure that you provide them clean, fresh water to keep them well hydrated. Exercise and Energy Both Chihuahuas and miniature pinchers are active and need regular exercise to keep them in good shape. Chihuahuas can play for as long as you are willing to play. They enjoy retrieving toys, walking around the neighborhood, and going for supervised romps around the yard. Miniature pinchers are incredibly active and always on the move. That is why they are recommended for active people and like engaging in adventurous activities. Miniature pinchers are among the most active dog breeds and often need a wide open space to exercise to burn off their energy. Although both breeds enjoy playing outdoors, they should be housed indoors. They are vulnerable to coyotes, hawks, and other larger dogs, and the safest place for them to live is indoors. Health and Lifespan When it comes to health and lifespan, chihuahuas have an upper hand. Chihuahuas are the longest-lived dog breeds in the world and can live for up to 20 years when well taken care of. Miniature pinchers have a lifespan of between 12 and 14 years, but can live longer than that if they are well taken care of alongside other factors. While chihuahuas enjoy good health for most of their lives, they are likely to suffer from conditions such as heart murmurs, collapsed trachea, hypoglycemia, hydrocephalus, dislocated kneecaps, shivering, and open fontanelle. Common ailments for miniature pinchers include patellar luxation, hypothyroidism, epilepsy, leg perthes, and progressive retinal atrophy. Miniature pincher versus Chihuahua. Which one is better? Now that we have compared various characteristics of these two tiny dog breeds, the big question is which one between the two is better. These two dog breeds have their strengths and weaknesses. So when choosing between the two, you choose one that has the traits that you are looking for. For instance, if you are looking for a dog that is easy to train and has a longer lifespan, then Chihuahua is a great choice for you. If you are looking for a dog that is very energetic, lively, and intelligent, then a miniature pincher is an excellent choice for you. There you have it! I hope you enjoyed this video on miniature pincher versus Chihuahuas. Comment below which dog breed is your favorite. Also, for making it to the end of the video, you can get access to free dog training and diet guides over at dogoracle.com/free. Thanks for watching.